Okay, okay, let me, what's up YouTube world, what's up, what's up, how, what, how everybody doing? This is Born Devon God of Law. Right now, it's about time for me to talk about Gene Dell and his last installment of um, the, Biggie, the Biggie Saga. The first two installments, I was kind of hard on them. But I want to recant that and say that this last installment shows me what type of person, individual he is. And show me that he, he understands his mistakes in the whole situation. So I like to big up the last installment of Jane Dill, Biggie's drama. Um, he was right for telling Biggie's mother everything he told her. Because sometimes you need to know. Even if you don't want to know, you need to know. So I beg him up for that. Um, I also see, I've been seeing him for a while, but it showed me more and more and more how much of a snake, puffy, diddy Sean Combs is, you know? It can make you think, allegedly, he has something to do with Biggie's death. Even, even, even some people say it was an accident. If you know all that's going on and you do nothing, you do nothing about it, then you're part of the problem, not the solution. So I beg Gene for bringing that, bringing that up too. I beg him for bringing that up too. Um, and I also want to um, give a major, major sh shout out to Gene. You know what I'm saying? You did, you did good, bro. Salute you, man. And wreck, I don't fuck with you like that because you got that white boy Jordan Tyler on your on your team. But I salute you for the for the interview too. You know, it brought a lot to the light. Let us know why one of our greatest went and how we went. Um, the the major part that I was that I was feeling though, is sincer in sincerity. And the feelings and the hurt I seen in Gene Dill's eyes, I heard in his voice. You can't fake that. So salute again. Um, now we need a real Biggie movie, not that paper, that watered down shit that they did the last one. We need a real one that shows Biggie's true feelings and emotions his gangster side because Biggie wasn't no sucker. No matter what people say, you, he he was in prison for a felony. Come on, man. He wasn't no he wasn't no um, quiet boy. No matter if he went to Catholic school, he did what he did. D Rock, as I can see, D Rock was one of, was one of his truest homies. But if D Rock, you so true, bro. Why you fucking with Diddy still, bro? How the fuck you still fucking with Diddy? You know Diddy was the cause of that man's death. Either it's about stupidity or if he paid motherfuckers to do the hit itself. You telling man, this man Gene telling Diddy, telling Puffy, tell a Ciroc girl, yo, it's going down, it's going to happen. Um, Let's get more security. This guy never gets more security. I think he I think he didn't care because he knew Biggie was planning to leave anyway, starting a commission. Biggie had contracts he signed already. So it didn't matter to him. He was like, well, I get more money from dead than I will if he leaves, so let whatever happens happen. That's how I feel about the situation. That's how I'm going to keep it gully with it. Diddy, you're a fucking snake, and sooner or later, you'll get whatever, everything that's coming to you, for all the people you fucked over and your rise to power. And that's facts. Yo, um, salute y'all, you know what I'm saying, it's born divine God of law. I'ma, I'ma, um, get at y'all soon, um, lives be coming again next month. The first week, so let's get it popping. Everybody else, salute, peace. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed.
I'm out. One.